Hey hey people! I am Paranosha and welcome back once again to Fisherman and the Worm and probably the last episode, I don't know, we will see. Anyway, I hope you're doing great and we will just continue where we left off. Uh, where did we left off? I think it was like... Uh, let's see now. No. No, 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 no. Did I not save? Oh my god, I did not save. <laughs> yeah. See ya. In a minute. And we are back. Oh my holy cow. I can't believe I didn't save. That was so stupid. So now... Let's save the game. Save the game. Okay. <laughs> Great way to start a video. Uh, so, here we are. I just got a little, uh, what do you say, review of what we did last time. And we met Elias' mom, who was a goddess. And then the elder fisherman came and, like, throw us away. And he took Fred and... Uh, probably he knew Delia's mom and now we are at age 70 and this is a sign. A sign is reading. You are now entering age 70. Please stay calm and realize what you have. Hmm. Let's think about that for a moment. Now let's go. Age 70. Here we go. Age, age 70. Uh, I have to go through it. Jerry might be stuck in here somewhere. somewhere. Oh, uh, pff, I've almost forgot how their voice was. What the crap? Huh? It smells like fish in here. Where could Jerry be? Yeah, probably not in here. Is this age 70? Man, it's dull. There is a painting of a beach on the wall. Okay. Yeah, I'm recording. Uh, I was afraid I wasn't recording the sound. <clears throat> that would be embarrassing. What is this? A pillow and a blanket on the ground. I wonder who sleeps here. Yeah, me too. Is this... is it a monster? Huh? There are... Uh, there are some papers under this pillow. Check the papers? Of course we check the papers. Okay, you know what this means. It means swinglish time! <laughs> there is something wrong with one of my ship's mates. He keeps talking to the thin air as if uh, there was something there. He says... he says it, it it's a shipmate he's talking to, but I'm not sure why he's suddenly seeing imaginary people. It's troubling. He even has a name for the imaginary shipmate. Skippy. I, th I think it, he calls him. Maybe he's getting old. Maybe the screwy finally is getting to him. Skippy? From age 14? What does this mean? Yeah, what does this mean? Who is Skippy anyway? This is kind of weird. A pillow on the blanket and wonder sleeps here. Okay, so is there something more I can do here? Can we go out? Yeah, we can. Okay, great. So, oh, we are at the ship. Oh my god, this is awesome. Look at your style. <gasps> it's so nice. Hello there. Yar. <laughs> How are you doing, Sayla? I'm not a sailor, I'm... <laughs> it's not so. <laughs> well, Scooby will do that to ya. Ain't... she ain't comfortable. <sighs> he can't seem to hear me. Okay. Um. So, hope you're doing great, everyone. Uh, at least better than me. Fishing all my day. Wishing that we were home all night. Wishing we were home all night. We haven't seen land in what feels like forever. Why did we ever think this was a good life to lead? Yeah. Uh, ah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we did just glorify the idea of being on the open sea. <laughs> I wonder if other people feel like this. Like they are spent their whole life dreaming to become something. But once they get to get it, they realize it 
Might not ex actually be what they want. Mm, true words there. Oh, come on, are you morning? <sighs> I guess that's true. It's not like you get lost at sea in most jobs. How are you holding up, by the way? You look kind of sick. Uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, I see. Being away from lands for so long can really get to a person. Maybe you should try to relax. <laughs> well, okay. I guess it would be unlike you to take a break. Oh, this is the one who's talking to the thin air, right? Let's take it easy. Okay. Where is it? I don't know. Oh my god, there are many people here. Hello? Arr, how are you, baby? Oh, no. Skippy again? What is he doing about, about nowadays? It's been a while since you talked about him. Well, I'm not... I'm not the one who's talking about Skippy. No, of course I'm not. I trust you when you say he's real. He's your friend, right? Even if he, die, he died, he will always be with you. What? This is so weird. No problem. I wish I could have met him. Okay, so is Skippy real or not? I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can can you see me? Yes, I can. Uh, sorry, it's just that the others... They can't see you either, huh? They can't see you? No, only the shipmate can see me. How are, Who are you? How did you get on the boat? I'm Delia. I'm... I'm not really sure how I got here. Not me either, either. Delia? I like that name. I'm Skippy. <gasps> Does Skippy look like that? Wow. He's... He's kind of rusty. I'm Skippy. Huh? Skippy? I'm, I'm sorry, but aren't you dead? Yeah, I just... Uh, he just uh, wouldn't let go of me. Now I'm um, always forgot his voice. Oh, so... Huh? huh? Hey, hey, Skippy. Yes? Have you seen a... Have you seen a pink fisherman? F fisherman? Blah, 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 blah. Have you seen a pink fisherman around here? He has a long neck and a yellow raincoat. Huh? He sounds weird. Uh, weird. And no, I haven't seen him. I've forgotten your voice. Crap. You're the only person I've ever seen here. I see. Why do you need to find him? He's my he's my friend. I promised I wouldn't let anything bad happen to him. But now he's lost. Oh, I see. Skippy, how do I get out of this place? Oh, leave. You can't you can't leave this place. What? You're we're stuck here. You might as well get settled in. Huh? Why why do you why don't you go talk to Alert? Alert? Alert. He's going to be called Alert now. He, someti he sometimes will tell someone interesting stories. It'll help pass the time, at least. Right. Thank you, Skippy. No problem. Let me know if you need anything. So, we met Skippy! Great! I didn't thought he would look like that. But I'm... Um, yeah, sure. That was a plot twist. Hello? <laughs> Hi, buddy. You look really tired. Yeah? No, man. I mean, more tired. More tired than usual. What? You stay up all night talking to your imaginary friend. Uh, no. Well, calm down. It was just a joke. Jeez, man. Seriously, though, are you feeling all right? You slept in. It's past noon, yet you look dead tired. Yeah, maybe I am dead tired. I slept through past noon. I slept a long time at age. Really. I wish I knew what to say when 
to make it better. Take care of yourself, man. Okay. So, are we like the one that they are talking to, but they can't see me, but they can't see him? Is that correct, sir? Mister? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, actually I woke up really late today and I have had a, such a bad day. It was just accident on accident on accident and... But then I had a really nice pizza and that was awesome. It was so good. I have never... I, uh, and everything just, you know, felt a lot better. Um, where are we going? <laughs> uh, no? Can we talk to Skippy again? You should go talk to Alert. Which one is Alert? He's the one with the scruffy beard. Scruffy beard. I wish uh, I wish I grew up. I I wish I grew up old enough to grow a beard. Oh, so th this one is he. Oh, how did he talk now again? Some something wrong, friend. Yeah. Well, I see you're bored, huh? Uh, would you like to hear a story then? Yes, please, please pass the time for me. <laughs> I'm glad that you uh, you at least like my silly sea tales. No one else here, uh, no one else on this boat enjoys them. Okay, so okay, let's see what this is. <laughs> okay, okay, let me think of one. <laughs> oh, okay, I got one. <clears throat> So, once upon a time, there was this camel. A camel? The camel one had wanted, uh, had wanted to have a tea party, right? She invited all her friends from preschool to come. She was so excited about the party, she even invited a special guest, the moon. Oh, I know the story. Huh? It doesn't have to make sense. It's a story. Now, let me finish. So, the camel wanted to invite the moon, right? But there was a problem. You see, the Earth had a restraining order on the moon. The moon was sentenced to stay at a specific distance away from the Earth at all times. Yar. So it wasn't able to go to the party. It was, it just kind of creepily floated around the Earth instead. But the camel was determined to change the Earth's mind, so that the moon could party with them. So she... Uh, uh, actually, I don't know how to finish this story. <laughs> I guess the problem with making, up, making it up as you go along. <laughs> now you tell me a story. Okay, uh, once upon a time there was a little girl who liked to eat worms. And then one day she ate so many worms, she became... Hey, one. Her. What? It won't be. It won't be as creative. What do you mean? It was really creative, I think. What does it even mean? Uh, how do you wrong in the head, boy? No, and I'm not a boy. You can't think of anything. How can that be? Well, maybe it's just not so much name. Not so much imagination. Really, it sounds like you're thinking too much rather than too little. You're always trying too hard. Hmm. Would it help your story come? Would it help you? Would it help your story come out if I reminded you that creativity isn't real? Uh. What? But it's true. Everyone is born with a blank slate. We grow up to become a bundle of mixed and up memories and events. Is that really so? We ca we call someone creative when their memories and events don't line up with ours. Hmm. And then there are people like you who are, who try too hard to come up with something outside our own head. And you end up with nothing but a headache. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of true actually. Ah, oh, come on, don't get moody. You know it's true. Besides, in the end of the day, we all trapped in this boat with no real supplies and lost at sea. Coming up with an, an unique story should be at least the least of your wor our worries, shouldn't it? Yeah, I guess you're right there. Oh, speaking of which, Hammy has a real good sea tale. I don't.
don't know if you heard it yet, but he swears on his life that it's true. Okay? What? No, not mermaids! <laughs> it was something about uh, gods or something. Ooh! He said it was interesting, but I forgot it already. Oh well. Maybe you will, will enjoy it more than I did. Yar! <laughs> okay. Um, let's go talk to. What was his name? Hammy? Uh, actually, I will save here. Because maybe I have to stop recording soon. I don't know. I should probably stop recording. I have some work to do. Oh, but I want to see. Okay, I have to stop now. Uh, actually, I just got a text message. I have to go work. But see you very soon again. I'm sorry that it took so long before this video came out. I have been so busy. But I will not blame it on anything but myself. Uh, anyway, take care and see you next time. Bye!